Athletics action from day seven now. And in the women's 200 meter T44 heats, Marie Amelie Lefeur, with two gold medals already in Rio, was one of the favorites to progress. But in the first heat, was up against the world record holder from Germany, Ermgard Ben Susan, in lane five. Set and away. Lefeur out well. Quick start from Kayin as well. Good speed, Ben Suzanne in the middle lane coming through. They look to be the main three. And towards the end, it looks as though Holmes has broken down. Coming into the straight, Kayin racing hard here. Lefeur with a challenge. Ben Suzanne the inside. Ben Suzanne might have it. She does, she comes through. Now Lefeur's going to make a good thing of it. Ben Suzanne from Lefeur. Kayin eases down. And then in fourth position was Sugar from Great Britain, 26.71 the time. It's a new Paralympic Games record for Imgard Ben Suzanne. Very good work indeed. She's uh, broken the record of Marie Amelie Lefer. In the second heat, the favourite was Marlu van Rijn from the Netherlands in lane eight. It's a lot of focus on Van Rijn, but she just stayed in the blocks a little bit. Takaku was shot away here for Japan. What a start by her. Papa Constantino is going very well also for Canada. Out of lane six, so Van Rijn has got to get motoring here in the closing straight, and she does. Here she comes, Marlu Van Rijn, the world record holder, the Paralympic champion, the world champion is going to win this. 26-70, and she takes it well. And a big margin of victory for Marlu Van Ryan in the end. It took her a while to get out of the blocks, but once she did, she got chucking very well. 26-69, it's been rounded down to. Confirmation then of the lineup for the final. Marlu Van Ryan, the fastest qualifier. Bonjour, it is day eight at the Olympic Stadium. The ancient hour for the Rio 2016 Paralympic Games Athletics. We move to the men's 5,000 meters. And away we go. Davis, Agrippina de Santos, Kerwa, Witechki, Nives, Ben Ibrahim, Wale, Shentuk, Jacques, Aloui, Clifford, and Amami. It is just starting to separate a little bit. But still doing all of the heavy lifting out in front is Shentouf. At the front, Shentouf and Kerwa have really put down the hammer and the rest are finding it hard to compete. Look at the effort on the face of Elamine Shentouf, the reigning champion from London 2012, the money dethroned, the triple gold medalist from Beijing 2008. Kerwa's been on his shoulder throughout. He can hear the footsteps. He knows Kerwa's going to go. And now Kerwa goes on the final bend. The shed to have anything left in the legs. He looks around. And Kerwa has got so much left in reserve. The timing absolutely perfect. Henry Kerwa of Kenya is going to get his title back. That he lost in London. He won it in Beijing. He wins in Rio. Kerwa, 14, 17, 32. Henry Kerwa takes it. Gold for Kenya. Elamine Chantouf, the silver from Morocco, and Bill Eloy, the bronze for Tunisia, and in his category, a new world record. The first field event, the women's discus F57. Iyazi was fifth until this throw of 26.21 metres earned her a medal, and Ireland's Orla Barry threw a further 30.06 metres to contend for the lead. But the defending Paralympic champion sent it out to 33.33 metres, close to her world record. So Saifi of Algeria took gold, Barry of Ireland the silver, and Nigeria's Icharia Ayazi the bronze. The field for the men's 1500 metres, T52. Raymond Martin has been the past master of this. Now this is an event not competed for in London 2012. Raymond Martin is the man to beat and straight away the man to overtake. He's only gone about 100 metres and he said, right, let's go for it. A little bit of a movement coming on the outside, which was needed by one of the Japanese. And I think that Sato is doing about three laps to go and Martin's lead is considerable. Sato from Japan is getting sick of looking at the back of the helmet of Martin and is now going to move up. 
Sato has taken up the story in the front with Martin in second place. And that's interesting that Martin has let him go. Raymond Martin's going for it. Overtaking Tomoki Sato. Does the Japanese have anything left in his first Paralympic Games? It's Raymond Martin who hits the closing straight. The four-time Paralympic champion in London. And Martin is going to take the 1500 meters crown. It's his second gold here. Sato gets the silver. So Raymond Martin takes the honors. The men's 1500 meters C52 title is his. A Paralympic record, 340.63. Sato, the silver for Japan. And Kuratanasiri, another wheelchair racing bronze for Thailand. Next up was the women's T20 long jump. Ishmael from Malaysia set a new Asian record with this jump of 5 meters 20. Kukacic, the reigning European, world and Paralympic champion, was favorite for gold. This jump of 5 meters 55 put her in the lead. However, Ristovsky from Croatia impressed throughout the day. Her final jump was a lifetime best at 5 meters 79, enough to claim victory. Mikhaila Ristovsky of Croatia took the gold, Kusacic for Poland the silver, and Ishmael the bronze for Malaysia. Men's javelin F38 classification. Hardani from Iran tried to get himself back into the medals with this throw. He was successful in earning a bronze medal. 18-year-old Lukumi from Colombia put in a big performance and was challenging for the lead. 49.19 metres was good enough for silver. South Africa's Reinhard Hammond, the two-time world champion, edged out the Colombian to claim top spot. So Hammond took gold with 50.96 metres, Lukumi from Colombia the silver, and Hardani from Iran the bronze. The men's 400 metre T44 final. Set and away. Woodhall got a pretty good start. So too Malone in lane number seven. Berra is showing plenty of pace in lane number six. And Malone is coming through as well as they run off the back section. 70 to go. Woodhall. Now Malone digs in. Looks for the double. Moves up. Takes Woodhall. Berra's powering home. Malone in front. Berra's a danger. Malone. Berra dives at him. Oh, it's tight. Tight Paralympic record. 46-21. It might be Malone, but it's a photo finish. And they both dip for it. Three hundredths of a second between them. Malone gets there. 46.2 Paralympic record. Berra, 46.23, European record, second place. And then it was a bronze to Hunter Woodall. The men's 800 metres T54 final. Can who get gold? Konje, Kweeb and Weigel. Who, Kim, Weir, Garby and Lou. We're away in the final of the men's 800 metres. And it's Marcel Hu who hits the front on the far straight. The silver bullet, who still leads this final. For China, it's Kui Yang Feng, and it's Kong Zhen. There's a bit of a gap opening up now in third place. They're the three leaders. Into the closing straight in this Paralympic 800 final. Gobi's making a big move on the outside. It's a big lead. It's a huge lead. Paralympic champion, he's the golden bullet. Marcel Hung has done it. Tug wins at 133.76. Konjen now upgraded to the silver, 134.74. And Kim Gunai, the bronze for Korea. So the men's 400 meters T13 final. So away they go. Gunter away to a fair start in seven. Is already chasing Barker on the outside. So the two previous world champions come round the turn. And Goon to the left. Nambala steaming through on the right. 70 to go. Nambala and Guyun, the world record holders, lifting. Nambala just in front. And Guyun is trying hard. He's breaching the gap. He's coming hard and won. And Guyun's won it in a world record of 47 16 and beats Nambala. Both end up on the ground. They both broke the world record. A great run between these two and magnificent respect.
full credit to the Algerian as well, Mohamed Hamoumou in third place coming in as a bit of an unknown quantity at top, top level.